Okay, so we're gonna try to finish up the uh, this little plant connection project, the monocare and isolation. So recently realized um, the whole yeast thing was uh, contaminating the whole pro everything pretty much visually contaminating everything. First, I thought it was trichoderma. Um, I sampled just the agar to a slide. It was clear. Um, if you watched the last video, I tried to point it out. It's not an end all, but I did um, not select a few samples initially because that appearance, um, which I mistook for trichoderma. Um, so like samples from the original microplates or anything that had the micropipettes on it or the spore solutions added to it. Um, some samples were not selected because of that even on the last run of verification. Um, because what I did was I made transfers from the first round of microplates and the platings and then I went back and checked on them and then uh, that's where these came from. These are the collection of samples from the original platings. Um, I still have them. I think I'm going to go ahead and back some of these up. I'm going to check them out and back them up. Um, see if it's worth it. Um, yes. Some of them are getting really close to touching each other, some um, there's not much going on. I do have a couple of the original germination plates here that seem to have came along a little bit more. I might look at them again. Um, to be honest, I don't have a lot of time right now and it's kind of, this whole project is at the end of my list at the moment. Uh, we're selling more and more mushrooms for the farm, and it's becoming harder and harder to have free time to do this. But um, we're so close, and I was thinking I could even transfer some of these into Eppendorf tubes so I can look at them later. I am going to for sure look at the ones that showed the most promise. I do have this one that I uh, believe I saw clamp connections on. I think we're going to look at this first and try to see some clamp connections actually. And I just wanted to show you guys this too, so you can see, uh, oops. this is the one that I believe is clamp connections. So I mean it looks like a pretty darn clean culture right off the bat. It's looking good. And we're going to, you know, compare that to this pretty much. This is what I believe is monokaryotic. Seems much slower, less consistent. Um, there's two samples on this plate actually. One kind of rolled around a little bit, but uh, you can see the growth is almost just translucent back there. There's two samples on that plate. That's one of the species. And then we have three samples. Let's see, these ones are pretty tomatose. This one is having some droplets on it, which is seems to be an indicator of bacteria. Um, kind of hard to tell with the condensation on the plate. This one also seems to have a bit of droplet. And I don't think that's because of the yeast. The yeast is only really becoming a problem for the visual aspect of identifying stuff under the microscope. Well, we are going to get into that in another video. It just kind of sucks because I would have had more samples. I have two of one, three of the other, and it's not very many. But really, all you need is one and one potentially. So, some's better than none. We're going to go ahead and clean up and get this going. Let's get it going. Whoa. 